Make sure you stay layered up today as cold weather sweeps across the desert, plus a spike in coronavirus cases and deaths right here in Arizona. And we are just one week away from Election Day. The push is on for your vote. 12 at 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials, and now we're live statewide. So a big shout out to all of our viewers. We're on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Tram here. Our big story right now, this chilly weather. Can you feel it? Our desert has turned into a winter wonderland with flakes flying across the high country. People woke up to a lot of snow today. Look at that. This is video from one of our weather watchers, Shelly Chips up in Sholo. Just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Shelly. We love it. Here are a lot of the other pictures coming in from the snow yesterday. Hard to believe it's snowing in the high country when we're just starting to see some fall temperatures finally. And it may not be snowing here in the valley, but you'll need a couple more layers today. I know I did when I was walking the kids to school. This early winter blast is a complete 180 from our record breaking summer. And we want to know how do you feel about this cold weather? Do you love it? Not ready or what happened to fall? Vote right now on 12news.com slash bullhorn. Before Crystal tells us how cold it's going to be for the next couple of days, Team 12's Rachel Cole shows us how Arizonans are feeling about Mother Nature jumping straight from summer to winter. I'm cold. I got to go home and uh, get a sweatshirt on, a little jacket. It's pretty cold. I, I like the warm better. Um, it's definitely different. Yeah, it makes me feel like home a little bit more. Like, it's not as, I don't miss the heat, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm, I don't mind it at all. While people are praising the polar-like temperatures in Old Town Scottsdale, don't get too comfortable with the cooler conditions. It's weird here. I mean, one day it'll be really cold in the fall, and then the next day it'll be really, really hot again normal. I mean, it's not normal is what I should say. Larry Hamler agrees, but he welcomes the abnormal weather, especially after the summer we saw. With all these 105, 110 degree days to wake up to 29 degrees and some white stuff on the ground is, was pretty nice. Hamler, who's had a place in Heber for 12 years, says this first snowfall is early, but he prefers it. You know, when it's 115, I think about a uh, Chicago winter in January or February, and I go, I'll take this uh, any day. Fall fashion is now on full display, and there's one more upside to the drastic drop in temps. I can't wait to, for my utility deal, bill to drop. I'm tired of hearing the AC cutting on. So it's a great time of year. Put on a fire pit outside and bundle up and enjoy it. Yes, absolutely agree. We can't get enough of it. Okay, Crystal, so what's going on with this sweater weather? Show me the snow. The White Mountains living up to their name. Look at how that snow is piling up on the fountain there. Some of our 12 News weather watchers in the White Mountains have been reporting a half a foot of snow and the flakes could continue to fly here, getting in some last minute snow showers, swirling down and adding to the already expansive footprint of snowfall already stretching from the mountains to the east of Tucson all the way up to the slopes of Snowball and to the very northern edge of our state seeing anywhere from a dusting to several inches of snow. By the way, Snowball is getting ready to fire up the snow making machines by the end of the week. They have plenty of cold air to work with. Meantime, the desert locations are looking to the sky wondering where's the rain? Not a drop for Parker. So the count continues. 222 back to back dry days. The dry spell is coming up on 200 days for Yuma and Lake Havasu. 71 days with a plus sign for Phoenix and Tucson. You got a trace of rain yesterday, but sorry, that doesn't count as measurable rainfall. So that tally will continue. But today, Tucson, you hit a brutal benchmark. That mercury slipped to 32 degrees the coldest morning temperature of the season and your first freeze. It's about a month ahead of schedule. Tonight, the freeze warnings and the hard freeze warnings are back as temperatures crash once again into the 20s and 30s. Below average since we're starting out from scratch in the morning is what you're going to find on the thermometer in the afternoon. But then high pressure is back to burst our bubble. Nothing but sunshine and dry weather and a warming trend through the end of the work week. Okay, back to feeling like fall again. Okay, thanks so much, Crystal. Another big story we are following for you, Decision 2020 and the race for the White House. 
We're officially one week away from Election Day and so many people have already voted across the nation and right here in Arizona. We want to remind you that if you plan on mailing in your ballot, today is actually the last day to mail it back. So don't worry if you don't get it in the mail today, you can still drop it off at any voting location by Election Day. No doubt Arizona is truly a battleground state and that means more high profile visits this week. President Trump and Senator Kamala Harris are both making stops in Arizona tomorrow. The president will host two rallies, one in Bullhead City, the other in Goodyear. This is just the latest of several visits by the president this election season. Senator Harris is hosting campaign rallies in Phoenix and Tucson tomorrow. This is her second visit to Arizona in the past few weeks. The latest polls show Joe Biden with a slight lead over President Trump. With Election Day just a week away, today marks an important deadline. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us from the recorder's office with what you need to know to make sure your ballot is counted. If you are planning on mailing that ballot in, today is the day to do it. At least that's what's recommended by the United States Postal Service because it must be received by Election Day, November 3rd, just one week away to be counted. If you're just too busy to get it done today, though, there are some other options available to you. Here we go. Ballots can be returned at any drive through drop box, any drop box location, and any vote center. Just make sure you sign your ballot. The Elections Department is stressing that. Otherwise, it is not valid. You can also vote early in person at any voting center. To be clear, this year there are no assigned locations. And if you do choose to vote in person, you will be met with several COVID-19 related safety precautions. Constant sanitization of equipment, masks, and social distancing. People appear to be taking advantage of all the options. Voters in Maricopa County are turning out in record numbers. More than 1 million voters have already cast ballots. To give you some perspective, around the same time last year, about 650,000. That's according to the Elections Department. Remember, if you're going to mail it, today's the day to do it. In Phoenix, Matt Uris, 12 News. Matt, thank you. And we've put everything you need to know about Decision 2020 in one very easy to find place on our website. Head to 12news.com slash plan your vote. It is official. Amy Coney Barrett is the newest just justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. The White House held a swearing in ceremony last night, shortly after she was confirmed by the Senate. It is one of the quickest confirmations of a justice in modern times. Her confirmation gives conservatives a six to three majority. But Justice Barrett says she plans on doing her job independently. <laughs> Now to the coronavirus pandemic, Arizona continues to see a surge in COVID cases. Today, the Arizona Department of Health Services says we have 1,157 new cases in the state, as well as 16 confirmed deaths. Hashtag most clicked, here are the stories piquing everyone's interest right now. A Chandler man is back behind bars for a fatal home invasion in Gilbert. Police say Jacob Samia broke into the house of 73-year-old Frank Bernal, strangled him, and then took off. Investigators say the attack appears to be random. Samia was arrested two weeks ago, but released because of lack of evidence. Now he's back in jail. We're learning that a father and his young daughter were both killed when their small plane crashed in Yavapai County. Investigators say the single engine plane took off from the Deer Valley Airport on Saturday on its way to Page, but never made it. The father and daughter are being identified as 34-year-old William Engel Bell and his daughter, 8-year-old Amira Caballero. The crash was discovered yesterday just southeast of Cortez Lakes. The NTSB is investigating. Now to Southern California, where firefighters continue to battle the Silverado fire. That fire burning in Orange County quadrupled in size Monday. Southern California Edison said a power line may have played a role in igniting that fire. That, along with the Blue Ridge fire, has scorched more than 10,000 acres. More than 100,000 people are under mandatory evacuation orders. Fire officials said 700 crew members are battling the two fires. Yesterday, two firefighters were critically hurt. Well, now to a heartwarming update on a story that we've been following. Last week, we told you about Brendan, a man with Down syndrome, whose birthday celebrations were put on hold because of the pandemic. Well, after seeing his story, some amazing viewers helped create a memorable birthday. Team 12's Jen Wall has a story. Brendan's big Vegas 35th birthday plans were not in the cards because of COVID-19. But that didn't stop his family or neighbors from pulling off a memorable celebration anyway. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
He's gonna love it. The fun started in Peoria. Mike and Joanne Stimler saw Brendan's story on 12 News last week. We needed to find a way that we could give him something special this year. And knowing how much he loves Vegas. Both kind of looked at each other and said, why don't we donate one of ours? Oh, he's going to go crazy. The couple donating this slot machine for his birthday. We're really happy that he's going to have a special birthday. It's really heartfelt. It's been pretty cool to see um, that that's still, still a thing, that people still have big hearts. So really, really, really thankful. Brendan's birthday surprises did not stop there. Open the door, let's see. His family says Coca-Cola in Glendale donated shirts, masks, and a stuffed polar bear. And Brendan's family was able to rent this polar bear costume, revealing another secret gift for the birthday boy. Oh my God! What is it? Polar bear. <gasps> no! Priceless moments not even COVID-19 could interrupt. <laughs> In the end, Brendan getting those big bear hugs ringing in the big three five. There's Coca Cola. Woohoo! Happy birthday, B. Jen Wall, 12 News. Wonderful. Happy birthday, Brendan. We are so excited. It was surprise after surprise, and you're literally so lucky. All right. Well, it may not be snowing here in the valley, as you know, but. Did you put on the layers like I did? Yeah, this is a total 180 from our record breaking summer. So once again, we want to know how you feel about this cold weather. Do you love it? Are you not ready? Or what in the world happened to fall? Of course, most of you, me included, absolutely love this weather, right? But it's going to be short lived because it's going to start to feel like fall and kind of into summer again. So vote right now on 12news.com slash bullhorn. Well, that's your 12 of 12. The facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes.